Okay, here we are. Memory card filled up yesterday. I don't know when it quit. I haven't got to look at the footage yet. But here he is with his head attached and his hands. So today I am going to base, base paint him the color black like we did the pumpkin so we can get the pretty much to match the stem color throughout the whole body. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up and we'll go get to it. I'm here too, he just started without me. <laughs> So, what happened? Hmm? What happened? What? Why is it an hour later? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know it's an hour later. <laughs> they do now. All right, I broke out the Wagner power sprayer. We're gonna see how this works. I think that's it. Oh, that dry. Oh, I thought that turned on. He, he forgot something. I don't know what, but he forgot it. All right, what I got Ryan doing is he's just lightly hitting the high spots with some brown. Is the paint still wet? Might be in places. All right, no, it's not. And then we'll let this layer dry. Do I need to go over it more? Is that good? Yeah, let me load your brush up some more. Is this the only color we're putting on it? I'm loading up the brush pretty good. I don't want to brush the paint out of it like you would when you're dry brushing because He's just dragging it over the high spot. So is this the only color we're using? No, for the oh, this dries, yeah. Why is it so much darker all of a sudden? Because there was still some yellow in the brush from the pumpkin. So should I go back over all that? Yeah, go ahead and just paint. Huh? All right, go ahead and get his neck and stuff and... Why, is it almost out of footage? No. It does look like tree bark, doesn't it? I want it to look like pumpkin vines, I decided, so we're gonna paint it more on the green side. All right. So... We're just gonna keep doing this till the whole thing's coated like that. Back a minute. All right, 
great. Uh, we're gonna let this dry now and we'll hit it with some green the same way. Iron. Did corn? Yeah. I did it! <laughs> I was waiting for you to start so I could do it. Alright, so now we're adding a green layer. Get up in there in his armpit. Yeah, you gotta give him his deodorant. So when this dries, should it be the same color as the stem? Because we did this backwards. Should it be green first, right? Mm -hmm. No, I think it was No, we did do it this way, didn't we? And then we do another layer of brown over this, right? Hmm? I don't remember. Yeah, we do. Huh. I did a brown layer. Then... We, I, you painted it green. I don't know. We'll see how this dries. All right, we'll give you a close-up view. So there is that layer, and then we will go with... I think yellow. We're trying to get it to look like the stem on the pumpkin. Because if you look, there is yellow highlights, so... Yellow. So I got, we'll probably hit it with yellow, see what it does. And then I got a lighter green we can hit it with. And I think we're just going to start gluing moss and stuff onto it. Do we have enough to do the whole thing? Or... All right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to highlight this with yellow. Where's all the other brushes? Yeah, it's still lighter. Maybe add a little orange. Orange when this is dry. Don't you think? So. I say he needs a little. Orange. There he is. I think. I think it's good enough, Ryan. You do, cause it is still a little different. Like, I think maybe it's a little orange up there. Down here, we don't need it. We just need to make this more the same. What's up to you? Oh, uh, I think it looks good. Oh no, too, because I mean, it, once it dries, the neck it, transition from this side, but this side's gonna be facing like us. This will be behind the scenes side. Mm. Yeah, so once it dries, it probably will be different. But we'll hide that transition with a little bit of Spanish moss and 
All right, there we go. One project done for Halloween. See you tomorrow. Ryan said, see you tomorrow.